Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak here. We're going to take a second and I want to break down an area here for you. Now, what we're trying to accomplish here today is finding spots for when the pressure is really heavy during uh, gun season, uh, right after the gun season, late season here in Michigan. Like I said, there's, uh, they changed some laws, made it a lot easier for people. Um, and last year, I hunted in the late season, and normally late season is incredible for me. Last year was pretty tough. I did end up killing a deer. Um, ended up killing that, that doe, that big doe, uh, I want to say probably 400 yards from here is where I was. Not not even. I, I take that back. Probably 200, 200 yards, I would say, from where I am here. But what we are is in a little area that's kind of tucked away. See, there's a big marsh out here, okay? This marsh is very popular. I mean, a lot of you guys that even follow me hunt this same marsh. You know it, and it's big, and there is literally ladder stands. If I were to walk the perimeter of this thing uh, for whatever it is, let's say it's uh, say it takes me, um, you know, three miles to get around it, I bet I count no less than 65 ladder stands around this thing, all of them right on there, okay? So it's a very popular spot. Even here, you have have old stands uh, I just saw one an old wooden platform stand somewhere in one of these trees over here um, that looks like it's been there for 50 years and all rotted and fallen down but point being this area is hammered with hunters now the advantage to this spot and why it worked so good for me last year and I told you that in my late season hunting video follow along from last year hunting when the hunting's tough or whatever I named it is that this particular spot I'm in is overlooked. There is road access to this swamp further up over there. There is road access down over here that allow hunters to easily navigate and come right to this swamp kind of thing. Okay, It's easy access for them in a hunt off of those roads that are there. They may wander a couple hundred yards either way, but we're about... Uh, about 600, 700 yards that way to one of those roads, and we are about 600 yards this way to one. And this is pretty, uh, pretty nasty in a couple of these bogs that you got to get through to get to this spot that I'm at. So it's a little harder, a lot of dodging and weaving to get into, so people aren't really back here very often. So I knew that, I took advantage of it, and it worked out perfect. And I ended up seeing, you know, I went like seven or eight hunts without seeing a deer in the late season, and finally I came into this area down there, and, uh, I saw like eight deer that night and I have it still set and I killed that deer early, early in daylight. So it was really good. So I came in here, I wanted to check this out again today. So I already had that spot, um, but a lot of the deer I saw too were over here. So I kind of wanted to move down this way and get a little more. So what I did is I figured out based on the terrain and what we have, we, and this is the tree I'm going in. I have my saw hung right there is where I'm putting my stand. That's about where it would be. And like I told you, it's nice. So when I'm scouting this stuff, I can hang that saw and I can, as we pan around here and I look for shooting holes, I can see what I got. But I'm planning on my platform being right about where that blade is um, on that tree right there is where I'm planning on having my stand set is right there where that is. Um, so you're probably talking, I'm going to say, well, I saw is about uh, 10 feet. So we're probably 14 feet. That's probably 13, 14 feet up somewhere right in that general area. So now when I pan around, I can use that to look and see. But basically we have this bog here that is a pretty solid bog. And uh, let's just, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. I already looked at this area, figured it out. And then we got another bog here, thick stuff to that marsh out there. This wraps around and it goes that way. This is not really a point. It's more like a little bowl right here than it is a point. This is pretty much this way for a long way that direction. And it goes a long way that direction. It's just kind of like a little bowl into there. Now there is a uh, cut across right here where it's a little thicker. But uh, that I, I don't see much activity on that. I, I never did before either. But this area here is pretty important. So if we back out of here a little bit. Let's go back this way just to touch and see what we're talking about here. As we look at this, so we come out here, we'll do a circle around that. So we know that that tree, and I put my saw on the other side because mainly that's where I'm expecting shooting. But that tree, let me come back more, sorry, make it a little easier. So that tree where my saw is right there, you can see is the, is where I plan on being at, okay? So if we come out here to about maximum shooting distance, Let's start over here on the edge of that and we'll make a loop around and I'll show you what we're talking about. But you can see the sign, it's in here. The trails, all very good. Look at this. You know, very good sign and it still tore up pretty good because they were using this mostly, like I said, you know, late season kind of stuff. 
Look at look at the sign through here that you have coming through here. I mean, that's this is phenomenal sign in here. This is great stuff. So if we and look at it coming down here. So we know. Look at these trails that drop right down into there. So we'll start over here, knowing that that tree. Got to look for my orange handle. Like I said, it's one of the benefits of putting a saw on it is I can find it. We're too far to shoot, I think, from here. Uh, where are you? Hidden behind the pines right there. So that is my tree. So we cannot shoot from here yet. Okay. But we're going to start this circle from out here. So you can see you got all these little trails that are coming through. And you got this marsh right here. This little bog. Well, if we look at this, okay, and we come along through here, that's that tree, right? Where are you at? Is that one right? Uh, there's that white one. I bring you in a little tighter here so I can see too. Um, where am I at? That tree right there is the one that I'm looking at stand wise. Okay, so at the very most distance wise from here, um, you know, this is probably 20 yards here. So do I have, I mean, so I can technically shoot to here. Now we do have a slight small trail crossing right here, which, but as you can see, I don't really have any shooting into here like this. Now, when I get out here, I don't know if I do either. Um... No, so I'm basically giving up this spot right here, but that's okay. It's very light, very faint. I'm not too concerned about it. You can't shoot everything, but knowing that that's my tree, as we work around here, I do gain access to all of this stuff, including the main trail. Hang on, I'm fighting my feet here. Look at this main trail here, okay, that runs right through here. Look at this just wrecked trail that comes down through here. Okay, as we're working our way, that's the tree right there. That is the tree that we're in. You can see a saw blade sticking out right there if you look close. Um, but so I got total access. I can shoot everything here. I can shoot this trail that comes down through here and works this way. You can see this massive trail comes down through here, even at this intersection. So I'm right in that tree right there. So I have perfect shooting. I mean, look at that. It's pretty open, good pockets there. So I can't complain. Open right here too. Tremendous shooting from right there. Again, you can see my saw blade right above this branch right there. That's where my body's going to be. I can shoot all of this right on this major trail that's coming through here. But I also have this little kicker trail right here. Look at this where they come through here. Okay, this is pretty wrecked. This leads right into another one that's over there. But look at this trail that comes through here. And then there's another one that comes into here too over there. But in order for them to get to here... They're going to come, you can see it crosses right through here. See it? This comes across through there, so I have total access to shoot that as they come in through here or come through here. Anywhere they want, I own them right there. They're mine. Okay, so that's a great spot. So I get all this covered. Coming back along this trail over here, if they're coming through here and they want to walk around the edge of this bog, showed you, we got them right there. They come in. Now, if they want to cross here, you can see this trail cuts right into that other trail right there. My tree's right there. You can see the orange saw. There's no way for them to get through here without me shooting them. So that covers that area here, too. So we have all this covered, even into here. So I'm coming through here. Like I said, they'd already be shot if they're here, because I would have shot them right back there, where I had all that shooting to this lane. So as they're coming anywhere through here, I own them on this side. Now, as we start to break across can see we have this massive trail that comes through here. There's my orange saw. They're dead. No problems. Uh, if we work this this way and look at it here, look at this massive trail. Look at this coming right through here. Okay, this comes through. This comes through. Again, I don't even got to go over there. You can see my orange saw right there. They come through this. They're dead. No, no chance. Game over. And uh, so as I keep working my way around from there, and further out, you can. the point being that all this stuff comes together where I can get them. They cut through here. My orange saw is there. I got them there. They can't get by me. Same with this. Now let's look at these trails. Over here, there's that old beat-up stand right there. But out here, it's pretty open. You're not going to see much activity out here in this area. They're going to be on this edge or on this in, in this stuff here, which all leads to, which you can see, my orange saw 
right there on that tree gives me perfect access to anything that wants to come through here. So even if they're coming up this one here and working through, I get them. Now here, same kind of thing. You got all these little trails that are coming up through here. Look at this big one. It runs through here. Look at this massive one. Look at this. Comes right on the edge of this, skirts right on by. All of these trails, you can see my saw up there. Okay, you can see I have access to all of them. If they're coming on this trail, they're mine. My saw is right there on that tree with perfect shooting. They cut through here. I'm going to get them with perfect shooting. So it gives me all the shooting here from that tree with my saw right there. So I have all this covered. Now, even if we were to venture out this way more and see what we got out here, if they come this way, if they break off that main trail and they break, look at this trail that runs right through here and goes this way and catches up to that one. And if you look at it, I got them all day long, right there. Plain, simple, perfect, easy. I can kill them here. If they break down and come over this way and run this trail here and want to work through there, they run that trail, they go right to me. I got them. This is about my max shooting distance here, about 22, 23 yards. But if I wanted to, I can take them here and shoot them from there. Might be a little tight right there without knocking some stuff down. But right here, all day long, right here all day long so that's all shootable i don't expect a lot of activity out here i would actually be setting myself up for more of the activity to be along there or the activity to come right across this edge this way and go right through there but like i said being a late season setup look at these trails here that come through too that walk over here see this look at this big one that comes down here my tree's right there you know as they come right down here and they walk through right here meh night night and they're done right here game over so it's a perfect scenario and i'm covering all this stick stuff that's in here yet using this kind of this little open area as a almost kind of a not where i'm expecting them to be but look at this trail that works right down through here comes right in and meets come right down through this trail it meets up with that big main one and boom i'm right there i got him right here thump game over you know so it's really a good you know there's that other trail so i got access to a lot of stuff right here from this tree so it's a very good spot i don't have to do anything to this all i got to do is just mark this on my gps right here put it in mark it lock this spot and i'm good and i got another spot here that gives me great shooting gives me great opportunities covers a tremendous amount look at this one that runs right in front of it okay this one is running directly under that stand so it's a, it's like I said, it's a pretty well loaded spot and it's in a very unique situation being that there is going to be pressure that will put the deer here. They may travel this a lot anyway, as you can tell by the sign, but what I'll do is I'll save this probably save this for when that pressure really turns up hot um you know the, the whole month of november and into december when at, these deer are pressured they're pissed off they're tired of dealing with people and it's getting annoying that's when i'm going to come into here because it seems like a perfect spot where the the other hunters that are all around here uh hunters that you know that that just uh that for some reason they're not the, the sign is not here of people they don't want to be a ton of people here but like i said if i walk this thing i will find i mean the days of you finding a marsh or a swamp or a bog and then going and thinking you're going to have access to that and these deer are going to run the edge of that thing all by themselves those days have come and gone they've been gone for 10 years and the reason for it is is because everybody in the world does that okay like i said there are ladder stands and stands and, and signs of people and cut limbs from where stands have been every hundred yards around this whole entire thing without fail this pocket was kind of a, a gold mine to find because it seems to be for whatever reason nobody is really in here or no evidence of them and when i came in here during pressure time loaded with deer loaded with deer loaded with deer sign it was fantastic i don't need to know any more about it i don't need excuses why reasons why my my assumption is pressure move them here because of that i'm taking 100 full advantage of it i got a good spot that i found last year i killed that deer out of right over there i got another one right here that i'm setting up and i'm going to put two more setups in here for different wind directions and i'm going to have this whole area pretty much covered so anytime i want to come in it's locked down there's one that you're seeing right here 
that will be it. All I got to do is mark that on my GPS, disappear, and not come back here again until no, late November, December, whenever I want, and just climb right up there. I don't have to trim nothing, mess with nothing. I don't have to do anything. It's just set right up and go. And that's what we're looking for. Sweet and easy kind of setup. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.